Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Josh from Ginger Flicks, and I'm going to do a quick review on the first two episodes of Hawkeye. I got to say right off the bat, I enjoyed it. I'm excited to see where they go. Yeah, all that being said, um, it's a fun show. I like Jeremy Renner. I like Haley Steinfeld, and I'm liking their relationship. Excited to see them progress as a team. Looking forward to that mentor-mentee relationship, partner relationship, whatever it may be. Um... Yeah, I gotta say, so right off the top, I had heard from other critics or reviewers before the show was even released that this is actually more of the Kate Bishop show. Look, we know that, uh, I guess we're at this point in the MCU where they're passing the torch, hence, uh, you know, Yelena being White Widow, Black Widow, not sure. Um, The problem with, at least I was nervous about that because I wanted to see the Hawkeye show. You know, I want to see... Jeremy Renner. I want to see what he's up to. I want to see Clint Barton. I feel like Clint Barton Hawkeye is the most underrated, underused character in the MCU thus far of the main characters or of the main Avengers. Um, I liked his family dynamic. That was a surprise in Age of Ultron, which wasn't that great of a movie. And he was missed in Infinity War. I wanted to see what he was up to. And then I loved his Ronin stuff, and then how he was used in Black Widow. I know a lot of, uh, not Black Widow, in Endgame. I know a lot of people wanted his character t- to die, but I like that he's he's still with us, and, uh, you know, I like that we have this show. Now, that being said, I like that this show was sort of told from the point, or at least we're introduced to it from the point of Kate Bishop. You know, her as a kid during the initial um, Loki invasion in the first Avengers movie. And I like that it was Hawkeye that saved her and he didn't even know it. Or at least it doesn't look like he knew that he saved her um, because he killed one of the aliens or whatever. And from there, you know, we cut forward. You know, when we first see Kate Bishop, she's 22 and I believe that's that's going to be the age she's going to be in the show. And uh, she's kind of a bit reckless. And I like that. You know, she's told us, she tells us, the audience and Clint, that she is a, um, you know, she's a martial arts champion and she's the number one archer. But it's more like she's the self-proclaimed number one archer. Um, my fear with this being the K Bishop show was that we were going to be introduced to this young girl who immediately was going to be better than the Hawkeye we know and love, right? That's been the problem with um, the the sort of the movies these days when we're reviving old series, but we're given new protagonists and we're immediately told they are more uh, capable, they're stronger, faster, smarter, all around better than the protagonists, the heroes we grew up loving, you know, whether it's Star Wars or... Um, you know, anything like that. So that's not how it is. I like the fact that Kate is, you know, she's a good fighter. She's capable, but she's not immediately going to be the next Hawkeye. Um, or she's not already ready to replace him. I like that. And I feel like, um, you know, Hawkeye showing her the ropes a bit, how teaching her how to clean a wound, uh, properly, things like that, like smart. I, I'm enjoying that, and I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, I'm liking their relationship together. I want to see them play off each other more. I want to see. I want to see their training. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, the acting is great. Vera Farmiga is amazing as always. She can phone something in, and she's still great. Um, Tony Dalton, he plays the stepfather or soon to be stepfather to Kate. And he's clearly a villain or at least an antagonist in some some sort of way. And again, it makes you wonder, okay, how is this woman, Vera Farmiga, Farmiga how, why is she with him? He's clearly creepy. He's not a nice guy. And he even fences with Kate and he's holding back the whole time until Kate randomly tries to attack him and he he parries it no problem. I actually enjoyed that. I thought that was cool. But yeah, he's very much a very cartoony, mustache twirling uh, villain. But I like that. And I like him in Better Call Saul. So I'm excited to see where they go with his character. Yeah, so all in all, you know, the first two episodes are great. I, I you know, like Hawkeye himself in the MCU, he's underrated. And I feel like this could be an underrated show, you know. Um, 
yeah, I'm excited. Uh, let us know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I'm going to leave the links to our podcast, at least the Spotify link in the description box. And uh, look out for our next video on our next episode airing this Friday tomorrow where we talk about Ghostbusters Afterlife. For Ginger Flicks, I'm Josh.